Okay. Oh. Wow, they're redefining the notch. What the? Hey guys, James here, your tech buddy, and this is Tech Avenue. For today's special video, I will be reacting and sharing my thoughts on the Apple September 2022 event and what are the things or products we'll be launching today. But of course, the main highlight of this event is none other than the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro series. Let's see also what OBS are announcing today. So this will be my unfiltered and raw reaction. Of course, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get you notified when a brand new video will come out. Of course, you can follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok at Tech Eminem. So let's find out. Right, so we are done with the Apple event today. Oh, well, actually, here in the Philippines, it's already midnight. It's already quarter to three in the morning. So we will just try to recap the Apple event here to give you the reaction of mine. What are my thoughts about the new product? So we will just start, start first with the launch overall, more like rocket ships and um, NASA. Um, they, they have reference for rocket ships and of course they have an Apple TV show uh, called For All Mankind. This is my overall aesthetics of the uh, event. So let's start first with Apple Watch. So Apple Watch, they have two Apple Watch right now. Actually, they mentioned three, but it's all the the third one is just an update. So let's start first with the Apple Watch Series 8. Uh, actually, this just uh, this new name, but the casing or the design is just the same. There are some new features on the newer ones that I will be giving here. So first, they have an always-on display right now. And of course, this is much larger display on their watch right now. So yeah, already expecting that, but they thought there will be a new design. They have a new temperature sensor and ovulation temperature sensor if uh, it's much um, in demand right now or at least it's capable for the current, current situation here in the world because we're still in the pandemic. So nothing else about to talk about the Apple Watch Series 8 and of course the price is still at $399 US dollars and the next one they talk about is the Apple Watch SE Series 2 which for me it actually I saw it's like they just rebranded the Apple Watch Series 5 I think because they are having a more a uh, more size display now compared to the regular SE before that I think it's Apple Watch Series 3 in that matter is priced at around 249 US dollars and the biggest the biggest launch of the Apple Watch series is the Apple Watch Ultra. But first, can we just mention who the hell put this as an Apple Watch Ultra? I really um I really want the Apple Watch Pro naming, but Ultra? Uh, it's kind of weird. I know this is uh, Apple Watch Ultra is for athletes or adventurers uh, some sort of kind of that thing but i think it's more good in terms of the naming scheme the pro models because of course they are professionals not in the sense of they're of course they are wearing suit and tie about that but uh pro because they have more things that they will do so yeah the meanings are a little bit off peak to me the witches have a new sensors of course there's a new button on the apple watch ultra and it's more rugged design of course uh, for athletes and they have a new sapphire screen and of course the newer display it's, which is more brighter than the regular apple watch series of watches so um they are now targeting garmin if you know garmin is more on um sports and athlete style of um GPS smartwatches so at 799 US dollars yeah they are more competitive because I um some of my friends saying Garmin starts at 1200 US dollars so yeah I mean I think it's on a good thing good track but let's see I can um for me um 
is good, but I will not buy it for myself because I'm not an athlete in that matter. <laughs> All right, so the second thing we were talking about is the AirPods Pro. And just like the Apple Watch Series 8, it's just a new name, same old design. So yeah, I'm kind of sad about that. But of course, they will just try to be uh, putting the new features inside of the app AirPods Pro too. So of course, they are now launching the new chip, which is H2. So which is having a more personalized and more advanced features than the previous AirPods Pro. And they have it first they have talked about the new personalized spatial audio and the newer better ANC features, which is good for some people who want to cancel the noise all around you. And of course they have the new I think this they call it dev develop transparency. So uh, you can still hear the surroundings around you, but try to minimize the vo uh, the noise of other things. For example, they are in the video they are uh, sampling this like jackhammer, so they will just try to shut down that jackhammer, but you can still hear what the surroundings around you. So that's good. Um, they're also including a new touch sensor, which is the same as the AirPods Max. Um, they have the new swiping feature, but um, I'm not keen about that because they're still having a hardware or maybe capacitive um, buttons there. So I think there will be an issue for me. They have a new speakers on the AirPod Pros too. They have now also a lanyard and of course what's the most important thing is MagSafe or wireless charging is available for the new AirPods Pro 2. And um, the same price around 249 US dollars so that's great now of course we're the last and the final piece of the event is iPhone 14 so of course there's iPhone 14 and uh, iPhone 14 Pro models we will start first with the regular iPhone 14 so iPhone 14 they just release two models but of course we will say goodbye to the mini and they just put it the new bigger one the iphone 14 plus thank god they don't use ultra with that matter or max in that thing so because they have the same uh, chip they have the same uh features of course the difference is only the battery life and the screen size so uh iphone 14 is 6.1 inches and iphone 14 plus is 6.7 inch the same as the regular or sorry pro models of iPhone 14. A big shocker but not old, really a shocker is the chips Apple A15 Bionic which they use on the iPhone 13 series. Uh, they also talk about the new cameras on the iPhone 14 uh, with 12 megapixels and the new autofocus of features and of course the new giving the new features like photonic engine like I'm still thinking Photonic engine is still a weird word for me. Um, they're using the new algorithms to give you photos that is more better than ever. Yeah, again, like that's what they said. And of course, the, for videos, they are you know, now using action mode. So uh, it's like gimbal style or the action camera styles that you see on DJI, on, on some other action cameras, Osmo pop it what and all this what is the biggest shocker for me here is that uh for iphone 14 users in the u.s there will be no sim trays so all of the phones are in eSIMs. so i think for me that is a bold move and it's a uh, quite hard to provide sim cards because okay let's see if you are going to let's say a country like here in the Philippines and you're coming from the US you have an iPhone 14 and of course you need to use a sim card here in the Philippines to call tax and just use an use internet here in the Philippines you don't have an option to have an eSIM if you are not a postpaid user meaning if you're just using prepaid sim cards you're going physical In that sense you are having a hard time to use that iPhone here in our country so that is 
quite a bold move and it's quite a hard to digest for some countries that don't have eSIM supports or have eSIM supports but only have a limited uh, options or limited usage usage for it so that is quite a hard thing so the the next big thing they uh, they implemented here or announced is their emergency SOS messages or in other words satellite service so of course they using antennas to for example using use emergency you don't need and you don't have a signal a cell phone signal you will use uh, satellites above to give you signals to for appropriate emergency emergency services like rescues or you know health services for 911 if you're in the US that's good but it's quite sad that it's only for two years free and then the next couple of years that will be um, paid service so um, for US maybe it's helpful but for here in other countries in the Philippines um, I'm still thinking about that so yeah maybe good good feature pricing uh yeah 7.99 for the regular iphone 14 which is the same as before but of course the iphone 14 plus it is 9 8.99 um the iphone 14 will be available september 16 and what's weird is the iphone 14 plus will be october 7th so yikes all right so the other one the last thing is the iphone 14 pro and pro max so as we expected from the rumors so of course they showed off the new pill shape cutout and we will talk more about it uh, why for me it this is of course the star of the show hands down later on so they give us new colors um deep purple which it sometimes it's not good injustice when you see in photos or in this instance at launch event but maybe if we can, i can see it in person maybe i can try to see if i will love it or hate it uh, for the pill shape cut out what i really like the announcement is that they use the new term dynamic island of course use the pill shape cut out to give you additional information to for example there's a call so they will just try to reinvent the information inside of a dpl shape cutout so for example you will use a face id it will just um give a black area and then we'll just give you a face id message there and for me that is a good implementation of software for the pill shape cutout yes i know apple fanboys before hated the pill shape formula for the phones on android sides like for example for realme of course the samsung standard pill shape cutout for iphone they really try to reinvent that thing and it's not just an awkward pill shape so i try to commend apple for that but of course in terms of hardware i prefer a small punch hole display just like my phone right now it's only the punch hole but nonetheless it's forced to using face id so they cannot try to hide it under the screen for now the software implementation which is very good in my in my taste and of course with that thing they're using LTPO display they are now implementing always on display which um, they are late in the game but okay commendable yeah and they try to use it in a very much good sense for me and of course they were using the newer chipset a16 bionic and yeah and this, they saying the best processor in the world okay okay blah 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 get it I get it now uh, the new cameras 48 megapixel camera so you can try to combine or merge four pixels into one which is a good thing to make it brighter of course then you use, use algorithms for that uh, the event for 22 September event so what are my thoughts um, if I will give this from 1 to 10 rating um, I will only give it an 7.5 the star of the show is the iPhone 14 Pro, not gonna lie. And uh, not just the iPhone 14, but the implementation of it with the Dynamic Island. The newer iPhone 14 Plus is, yeah, okay. Apple Watch Ultra, good, but mm, not my cup of tea. And of course, the 
AirPods Pro may I will get it I that AirPods Pro 2 maybe no maybe I would just try to save my money and just try to wait for the next AirPods Pro 3 so yeah so what are your thoughts on the Apple event uh, that happened this September 2022 let me know in the comments section down below but and of course if you want to watch my other videos you can check out right here or if you watch my previous video you can click right here again thank you so much for watching I'm your tech buddy James and I'll catch you guys on the next one